Larson will be one of the last ones. That's him with the lay on. Oh, 
Where's the mariachi? Is he someone? Like the sixth one from the last? Yeah. 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 Tell him to look for the super tall guy. Tell him he's right behind the super tall guy.
distinct honor of being the principal of Atascadero High School. And with that, I have the privilege of welcoming you to the 97th commencement ceremony for Atascadero High School. I want, to say, I want to say thank you to the trustees of the Atascadero Unified School District and our superintendent, Mr. Tom Butler, who have joined us this evening. If you are not already, please stand and welcome the graduating class of 2018. You're saying that. remain standing and direct your attention to the west end of the stadium as we have the presentation of the colors by the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps.
please join me in honoring our flag with the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. You may now be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the 2018 Senior Class President, Mr. Alex Cooper. Dear family and friends, on behalf of the Class of 2018, I would like to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. We want to thank each one of you for the role you have played in the lives of these young men and women and the love and support you have given them which has helped them reach this milestone. We truly appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. At this time, I will ask our school board members and Superintendent Butler to please step forward for the presentation of our valedictorian and salutatorian. If you would please rise. It is my honor to present to you the students who have achieved the highest grade point averages for the class of 2018. Although the honors of salutatorian and valedictorian are bestowed upon these students for their academic achievements, they are definitely well-rounded students and have made the most of their time here at Atascadero High School. The salutatorian for the class of 2018 with a grade point average of 4.44 is Miss Ashlyn Brookshire. Please come forward. <laughs> Ashlyn has been a very involved young lady during her time with us. She competed in varsity golf for Atascadero High School. Ashlyn also participated in show choir, drama, and a member of Drama Club, where she performed in several productions, including Adam's Family, Cheaper by the Dozen, Grease, Upon, Once Upon a Mattress, and the One Act Festival. She was the lead choreographer for choir, and she led a first place mock rock ensemble. Ashlyn has been an active member of Friday Night Live, throughout her entire high school career, participating in the Every 15 Minutes presentation. She also received an academic letter recognition and has been awarded as a student athlete. Ashland's plans include studying mathematics at UC Berkeley, and she, def and she definitely intends on continuing to perform in musical theater while in college. Your salutatorian, Ashlyn Brookshire. The valedictorian for the class of 2018, graduating with a grade point average of 4.47, is Mr. Franco Gira.
Franco has established the high watermark in so many ways with his accomplishments. Franco ran for the cross country and track and field teams all four years in high school. He advanced to postseason competition a total of nine times. He qualified as the scholar athlete in cross country. Franco founded the Men of the Book organization and the Giving Box and is a Sunday school leader at his church. As a junior, Franco received an AP Scholar Award, and then as a senior, he earned an AP Scholar with Distinction Award. He was the president of the National Honor Society and vice president of the California Scholarship Foundation, excuse me, Federation. Franco was selected as our boys' state representative and went on to be elected by the other boys' state delegates to be the boys' state governor. Quite an honor. Franco will be attending Harvard next year. Where he will study pre med. Your valedictorian, Mr. Franco Giro. Now, at this point in the ceremony, I usually invite the commencement speaker, one of your students, to come up to the stage and give their speech. But in this case, he is already here. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 commencement speaker, Mr. Frank Ogira. Alabama, located just between Santa Margazuri and Temple Tucky. <laughs> hello seniors, hello crying parents and texting siblings. <laughs> hello teachers, young and old, and hello grandparents, awake and asleep. <laughs> Class of 2018, we graduate in about 30 minutes, and my mother tells me that that is a very big deal. She also told me to clean my room which I didn't, but whether my room is clean or not, we will graduate today and I have a few words to share with you all. We've all had different high school experiences. Some of us spent our days here studying for AP classes, participating in different sports or drama plays, or doing our homework while the teacher was collecting it. Sorry, Ms. Bravo. We all had to overcome different challenges at AHS, such as memorizing the camp poem and health, having to walk up the junior lot hill, or my sophomore year, someone stealing the doors to the boys' bathroom stalls. <laughs> but, throughout my time here, whenever I found myself staring at an incredibly difficult challenge, Mr. Fugel would stare right back at me and simply say, look at your lecture notes. <laughs> but, he's exactly right. As we look back, no matter how you spend your time here, we've always had lecture notes to help us out. And no, I don't mean the ones that we copied from our friends. Sorry, Fugo. I mean our real life lecture notes in the form of our parents, friends, and teachers. And although most of us have already turned 18, including my best friend, Alec Grant, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, Alec! <laughs> The simple transition from 17 to 18 did not make us adults, but rather the whole journey did. You see, sophomore year, we learned how to drive, and soon after, we learned how to pay off a speeding ticket. <laughs> Junior year, our teachers challenged us academically in order to teach us perseverance and make us grow. And senior year, with the help of our family, we made our very first big life decision when we decided where to go next and what to do with the rest of our lives. You see, throughout our years, the people around us have helped to shape us into who we are today and helped us on a journey into adulthood. However, our most important lessons were probably learned during our very first year. Freshman year, the camp poem taught us that our ability 
to accomplish what we want in life is dependent on our attitude and our mindset. We learned that we are enough just the way that we are and that we have far greater potential than we think. These lessons have followed us the remaining three years and I call out to you, class of 2018, to foster these values going into college and the rest of your lives. And now that we're leaving, we'll be able to use the many, many skills that the school has taught us in the real world. Like, do you guys remember when the school taught us how to fill out our taxes? Yeah, I don't either. But, I do have the entire quadratic equation memorized, which will totally be important for life. No. Sorry, DeLuca. Seniors, real life can be scary. And oftentimes, we feel like we're left to figure it out on our own especially now. However, we're not alone, and we haven't been alone. Just like a detailed page of lecture notes we turned to whenever we got stuck on a math problem, we turn to our family, friends, and teachers for support and guidance as we took on the challenges of school, life, and adulthood. And finally, I will finish with a quote from the single greatest philosopher of our generation, Andy Bernard from The Office. <laughs> Andy said, you never know that you're living in the good old days until you've actually left them. Class of 2018, as we sit here right now, we've realized two things. One, it's so hot right now. <laughs> and two, the last four years filled with Friday night lights, amazing school dances, and Mr. Allen's safety videos, those, those were the good old days, but just because our time here at AHS is over does not mean that the fun is too. It's time for us to go out and have new adventures with new friends and make lasting memories as we create a new set of good old days. And finally, to everyone here, on behalf of the class of 2018, there are only two words left to say. We out. My Thank you all. To God be the glory. Go out. The one and only Frank Ogiera. Thank you so much, Franco. Yeah. Seniors, families, and friends, I will now invite our senior choir members one more time with their accompanist to come back up to the microphones in order to perform their song for you all. Please join me in welcoming them.
Let's